The 2022 WNBA draft will take place at the Spring Studios in New York Monday at 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN and will return to an in-person event for the first time since 2019. So to get you all caught up on all the latest, we have to bring in a UConn legend, WNBA women's college basketball analyst, Rebecca Lobo. Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. Thanks for having me. Of course. So there was a huge trade yesterday as the Mystics traded the number one overall pick to the Atlanta Dream for the number three and number 14 pick. So who are the top players the Dream is considering for this top pick? Well, all season long, we've been talking about the top two players that are in contention to go number one. And we'll start with Ryan Howard, the, the multi-skilled guard from, uh, from Kentucky. She mm. is 6'2", has a great frame. She is has the talents of a WNBA player already. She can play one through four, defend those spots. She's incredible in the pick and roll, can create her own shot, can create space, but also really good vision and delivery when she's creating for others. And then you have Nalissa Smith for Baylor. This is a player with incredible energy, 6'4", great motor, gets out in transition, pursues rebounds. She averaged uh, over 10 rebounds per game this Ooh. season. So those are the top two that you would think uh, Atlanta is considering. And then the Mystics, right? They moved down to number three. Do you see them taking Ole Miss center Shakira Austin to pair with Elena Deladon here? I would be very surprised if Washington didn't take uh, Shakira Austin. This is another player who has a great frame. She is 6'5 and long and has the skills of a WNBA player. She has to refine a little bit, but Washington is the perfect place to do that. She can come in and be impactful, but she doesn't have to be a go-to right away because of the other players they have on their roster. She is long, 15 points, nine rebounds a game a season ago, a really expos explosive player who can attack I'm excited to see her with Mystics, if that indeed is what happens. And when we're talking about the draft, we're always looking at the sleepers, the players who maybe are going to go a little bit above where they're projected. Which players improve their draft stock the most in the NCAA tournament? I think two players in particular really improve their stock. And we'll start with Emily Engsler, the, the wing who played for Louisville. She uh, is so disruptive on the defensive end of the floor, probably the most disruptive player in women's college basketball defensively last season. She gets out and gets it done. And then for South Carolina, Destiny Henderson. She had her career high in terms of points in the national championship game. She showed what she can do offensively in terms of her decision-making and ability to hit from the perimeter also was able to do a great job defensively on Paige Beckers. Those two players in particular, the last month of the college season, improved their stock. Mm, Rebecca, before I let you go, Chinea Gumake wanted me to ask you a question. She wanted to know what's the one biggest storyline that you're interested in this upcoming WNBA season? She probably thought I was going to talk about L.A., but I'm going to talk about <laughs> Chicago. We Dang haven't it, we seen won't a tell WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a WNBA team repeat as champion since L.A. in 2001-2002. So I'm eager to see, can Chicago repeat? They are returning their core pieces that led them to a championship a season ago. They added Emma Mieseman in the free agency period. Eager to see what they can do, if they can make a run at a back-to-back. -back. Let's see what Candace Parker and the squad is up to. Rebecca, thank you so much. We will see you Monday night at the WNBA Draft. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.